What if purposeful storytelling was so valuable that it could transform your personal and professional life for the better? Would you take the time to learn it? To master it? How old is the skill of storytelling? Probably as old as people. It is a core skill, fundamental to how we communicate and connect with others. In our digital age, there is a growing and growing demand for this skill and method of communication. Far too often, people make a mistake in business. They communicate and attempt to persuade others through data dumps, facts, logic, and benefits as presentations. The problem with these data dumps is they often offer no emotional connection to the audience. How can you captivate someone's attention with monotone data dumps, soulless PowerPoint slideshows? There is a much simpler and effective way to get your message heard. Storytelling. Speak from your heart and you'll connect with others. People have to feel that your story is solving the problem. Great storytelling also requires engagement, feedback. It's more of a dialogue, not a monologue. How you listen as a teller is as important to your success as the actual words you speak. Listen with all your senses, gauging your audience's emotions, attention, and interest. The goal of active listening is for your audience to feel as if they are a vital partner in this story experience. The author of this book, Tell to Win, is Peter Gruper. He is someone that has quite an impressive resume of business success. He attributes this skill of storytelling to be one of the secrets of his success. His proclaimed mission in the book is to be, to us the readers, a catalyst and a coach passing along tools and techniques from his own experiences, as well as soliciting the wisdom from people that he would consider master tellers. Demonstrating how when properly used, the skill of storytelling will immediately change your life. In this book, there's a lot of valuable nuggets of information to make you a more effective storyteller. Each of the valuable lesson or points are explained through real life experiences that he went through or someone else did. Rather than tell you a bunch of stories, I'll give you the most potent, valuable takeaways from the book. A lot of these lessons are buried within stories. Some of the stories seemed drawn out to me. I would say that the book probably could have been 50 pages shorter and it still would have delivered the same value. Find a way to incorporate what you learn into your personal and professional life. If you want to get a copy for yourself, I put a link in the description below. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. It'll be greatly appreciated. If you want to have a great story, connect with people's hearts. If your story connects to their heart, then their feet and their wallet will soon follow. Do not aim your story at your audience's wallets. In sales, I've also learned the importance of personal competency, a short, simple about me story to connect people effectively and efficiently. Have your short and simple yet valuable about me story always ready to go. You never know when you will encounter an important prospect, person, client, etc. Next, when you are storytelling, you must captivate the audience. You must be dialed in, speaking with passion, truth, positive enthusiasm, and confidence. Be aware of your body language. Many times our bodies are speaking more than what our words are saying. Know your audience. If you want to connect to people's hearts, you got to speak from the heart. Having a repeatable scripted story is not going to do it for you. Be willing to go off script when the situation calls for it. Demonstrate some vulnerability. Vulnerability is not going to be a liability, it's actually an asset. We are pre-wired for story. We just need to turn it on. The marketplace and people in general crave and demand stories. 
Stories make facts and figures memorable, resonant, and actionable. Use this high demand to your advantage. Don't think storytelling is exclusive to show business. Storytelling is good business, period. Now, what do all stories have? Heroes. Heroes come in all sizes and shapes. The hero could be a teller, a listener, a product, a customer, a location, anything. Choose the hero that fits your goal. Get your audience to step in the shoes of the hero. So what's a purposeful story? A purposeful story is a call to action. A story without structure leaves your goal unfulfilled. Start by crafting the beginning to shine light on your challenge or problem. Then shape the middle around the struggle to meet that challenge. Then end with the resolution that ignites your call to action within the listener. Be sure to tell your story so the audience clearly sees what's in it for them. So when storytelling, use metaphors and analogies. They are good for the imagination. However, first-hand or witnessed experiences is the best raw material for your story. Purposeful storytelling is a skill to aid you in advancing your career and personal life. Tell purposefully, tell effectively, tell to win. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below what your favorite story is. What lessons are within your favorite stories? I would love to hear your personal opinion and get a valuable discussion going. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to see when new videos are posted. This is Matt with another book summary for you. And until the next video, remember, always be learning, always be creating, and always be inspired.